Welcome back everyone to the channel for another video. This is Q50Beast. Today we'll be taking a look at the 1991 BMW M3. This is an amazing machine. I've always liked BMWs, uh, but this one, I was kind of introduced to in the last video with Gran Turismo um, as we did some track runs with that. And I said, let's go ahead and do a drag build here in Forza Horizon 5. And that's what we're doing. We're doing a drag build in this one and we're going to put a special engine in this car and you're going to surprise a lot of people so let's go ahead and get into the tuning all right moving over to the engine conversion we're going to go with the 4.0 liter v8 pretty cool pretty popular amongst bmw cars we're going to leave this thing rear wheel drive we're going to twin turbo this car twin turbo for the engine we're going to go with the race intake race fuel system race ignition we're gonna do a race exhaust this thing sounds really good we're gonna go with the race camshaft and the race valves we're gonna do race engine block displacement and race compression we're gonna also upgrade the twin turbos to race we're gonna do a race intercooler nothing with the oil cooling and we're gonna go with the race flywheel race flywheel for the brakes we're gonna of course go with the race brakes race suspension race suspension no training wheels race front anti-roll bars race rear anti-roll bars nothing with the chassis reinforcement and we're going to go with the full weight reduction on this already light car we're going to go with a race clutch a four speed transmission four speed with the race drive line and we're going to go with the race differential race differential over to the tires we're going to go with the drag compound with this drag build we did nothing with the front wheel, left it narrow, and the rear we went all the way wide at 265s. Choose the lightest wheels you like. We went with these and put a chrome lip on those. Thought it looked pretty cool with this car. Front wheel for aesthetics, we went with 17s. And for the rear, we went with 18s, also for aesthetics. We extended the rear track width all the way wide to help with the handling, and we did nothing with the front, left it narrow in the front. Moving over to the arrow. Uh, we did nothing in the front left it natural looks pretty good natural we blanked the wing off this is the stock one here uh, but we went with the blank it helped us for drag racing purposes over to the tires 31 and a half in the front and 15 in the rear so we can get that power down 220 final drive 369 first gear and we went with 220 second gear 140 third gear and 104 fourth gear all right, so moving over to the alignment, the rear camber, we went zero for the rear camber. Anti-roll bars, we did nothing with the front and 65 in the rear. Springs, all the way soft in the front and all the way hard in the rear. Okay, and for our ride height, 4.8 in the front and 5.9 in the rear. The car is already low, it looks really good. Dampening all the way soft in the front and all the way hard in the rear. For the bump stiffness, we went all the way hard in the front and 5.0 in the rear. We did nothing with arrow, nothing with brake, and nothing with the differential. All right, so let's go ahead and get a launch for you guys, half mile. Simple and easy launch, and this thing is off to the races. Little chirp in second gear, uh, but we open this thing up, and look at this thing flow down the track. Three gear tune for the track, 189.55. 189.55 and a half mile and this is what the car looks and sounds like from the inside it looks just like a 90s car pretty pretty cool let's go ahead and get a launch for you guys from inside and that four liter v8 sounds good listen to those turbos oh man this is a pretty nice car this is a nice sleeper you're gonna surprise a lot of people with this thing you're gonna surprise a lot all right so let's put this thing in the quarter of a mile and see what we can get out of it slight chirp in second gear and we are off to the races look at this thing flow down the track 162.06 in a quarter of a mile and this is what the car looks like from the outside it's stiff it's planted this thing gets up and down the track pretty pretty cool vehicle i love this thing and i hope you've enjoyed this video and if you have please like share and subscribe this is q50 beast peace out